How Kids Can Ruin Your Puppy. In this video, I wanted to address the question I receive all the time, and that is questions around what can I let my kids do with my puppy? What can I not, should I not allow them to do that will either help or ruin the way my dog turns out? How can you keep your, your dog uh, safe and your kids safe when they interact? What's the best long-term strategy to use when you have children that are young to old? What ages should they start interacting with your dog? And what should those behaviors be? All of those questions are answered in this video. It's very important if you have kids that you watch this video so that you can have the fastest amount of success with your dog and not have your kids ruining and constantly sabotaging your training efforts, uh, resulting in a dog that never ends up becoming obedient. Kids are one of those things that can unravel the whole thing for you if you do it wrong or can uh, can be a great asset that you can use to help the dog turn out well. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video about how to get your kids to interact with your puppy so it doesn't ruin your puppy's training. One of the questions that often comes up is when kids and puppies get together, trying to figure out what is appropriate and what is not. Um, it really depends on the age of the child. Um, Children under 10 years should probably be supervised anytime they're with the puppy because the puppy might not be wanting to hurt or scare the children, but they've got those sharp little needle teeth and they've got sharp little fingernails and um, they can end up hurting or scaring children without meaning to when they get really excited. Um, so um, for children under 10 years, Playtime with puppies should be really, really controlled. And rather than actually having it be playtime, um, it's better to have some training or handling or snuggling time um, with the parent um, present. So you can put the puppy on a leash, you know, hold his leash so he can't jump on the child, give the child some cookies, maybe the child can have the puppy sit and see if the puppy will lie down and just kind of work through some of the puppy's tricks. Um, that's a nice way too to teach the puppy to use their teeth gently because if the child gives them the treat and the puppy is too, um, too rough, you can do a nice loud ouch sound and make sure that the puppy pulls back and is more gentle the next time. Um, snuggling time is also great. Having the child just sit and pet the puppy, having the child maybe brush the puppy, um, have the puppy on the child's lap, just sitting there being gentle. So doing a lot of self-control behaviors around the child rather than games uh, where the where the puppy's getting more revved up and excited. So even though people love the idea of children and puppies together, there's actually a lot more supervision required than um, you might think. Walks are a great time for the child to hold the leash on the walk, but again, the parent should be there because puppies can get overexcited and jump up and um, you know pull on the child's clothing and nip at their hands and all those kinds of things that are pretty scary um, for kids. Children who are a little bit older, maybe 10 years and up, may be able to play with the puppy a little bit more, um, but there should always be rules along with the play, and that goes for adults playing with dogs as well. Um, so one of the nice ways is to play some tug of war with some kind of tug of war toy. Um, I've got one over here and I'm gonna demonstrate. So something that the dog can tug on. And the rules of tug of war are going to be the handler starts the game, so I present the toy and invite the dog to play. Um, that the dog will drop the toy and show some self-control, maybe do an obedience command um, very, at various times throughout the game. Also, one of the most important ones, if the puppy's teeth touch my skin or my clothing, I say too bad and I turn my back, I walk away, I leave the dog alone, I let them know that they've ended the game because they haven't been careful about where they put their teeth. Um, and any time that a dog, a puppy touches teeth to skin, whether it's a ch child or an adult, um, you want to immediately say, ouch, um, as loud as you can, maybe even a little bit louder than that. Get the dog to let go, give them that feedback that they were too rough. Um, sometimes it's hard for children when a puppy gets rough because they want to kind of lift their hands up like this 
and that gets the puppy more excited. So that's one of the reasons why younger children should really be supervised um, very closely. So I'm gonna let Poe out, and Poe is not a puppy, but um, he understands the rules of tug of war, and I'm just gonna do a brief demonstration of how to play tug of war with a dog. Okay, Toby, do you wanna play? Do you wanna play? Okay, get, it. get that squirrel. Yeah, you get it. You get that squirrel. Good boy, get him, get him. So he's playing on the toy, not on me. And as it gets a little bit rigorous, I'm gonna stop and wait. And I might have to trade him a treat. Drop. Yes. Then I'm gonna ask him to do a command. Down. Good boy. Okay, and then I'll start playing again. Good boy. Ouch, too bad. So that time he actually touched his teeth to my hand. And he might have a little bit of fun with this toy, but pretty soon it's going to get boring when I'm not playing on the other end. So I let him know that that wasn't, wasn't acceptable. And I'll kind of ignore him for a moment, and then I'll start to play again. So um, tug of war is something you can play. Again, um, children should probably be supervised um, by adults at first, and this is really for only kids about 10 years and up. Um, fetch is another game to play. Throw the ball, have the dog bring it back, drop it, do a sit, and then they'll throw it again. So kind of self-control play rather than running around the yard screaming and wrestling and all that kind of stuff. You don't want your puppy playing with your child like your child is another puppy. If you'd like to learn more advanced strategies than what you've just watched and different steps and the next steps to take with your dog, no matter what his situation or what his behavior or how old he is, I'd like you to come check out handsofftraining4dogs.com. That's handsofftraining, the number four, dogs.com, where we have lots of resources available to help teach you how to take your dog's behavior to the next level, make him more hassle-free, and really turn him into the dog that you always dreamed he would become.